Rock and Pop Stories. Arcade Fire, Everything Now, 2017. When, in September 2016, Canada's Arcade Fire set about recording their fifth studio album, it was safe to say that all was well. For a dozen years now, they've been the hype band. Their previous album, Reflector, was a smash hit. The tour that followed unleashed crowds the world over. And among the first rank of their fans were two Davids, Byrne and Bowie. A live album and DVD followed, all going very well. This new album, currently in preparation in New Orleans and at home in Montreal, will see their music evolve, which won't please everyone. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Everything Now, the title track of the new album, came about a little by chance in the brain of Arcade Fire frontman Wynne Butler. In the studio, he was working on a remix of the Coffee Cola song, a legendary track by Cameroonian Francis Beebe. Wynne being friends with his son, Patrick Beebe. Butler explained, it ended up being a song in its own right. But it took me two months to figure it out. We're not a sample-based band, so I had no idea it was going to evolve like that. It was only when we started working together on the theme that I realized that the arrangements had a life of their own and that my work on the Coffee Cola song had its own existence. As for the text, as he explained to BBC Radio One, he got the idea while sitting on a cafe terrace, listening to the conversation of two ladies, one of whom explained that she had spent her whole weekend binge-watching, swallowing all the episodes of the latest season of the series, The Sopranos. He recounts, the one who said that added that it was a real shame she had no more episodes to watch. In my head I thought, it takes years to make a series like this, and someone can eat it all up in a weekend, and then bemoan the fact that there aren't any more. I thought that we were living in an age where immediate consumption was the only thing that mattered, that this was a new way of life, and that's what the song is all about. In the studio, Steve Mackey, the bassist from Pulp, and Thomas Bangalter, half of Daft Punk, are on production duties, with Bangalter also providing the synthesizer parts, while Patrick Bebe plays the flute on the theme from the Coffee Cola song, bringing the album full circle. Everything Now is released as a single on May 31st, 2017, and the song takes the Labla One spot in the US. The album was released two months later, dividing the critics, some of whom loved it, others deeming it inferior to their previous productions. As a result, the North American tour that followed didn't sell out, while Europe was a triumph, but that's another rock and roll story. 